and welcome to Coffee and Card. It's Linda from lindaspapercraft.co.uk. UK, okay. And uh, we're on week two of the Ladybug Hello Ladybug bundle. So in your bundle, you got the Hello Ladybug stamp set and you also got the Hello Ladybug punch which builds your ladybug and um those of you who did, did my daisy delight class last year which unfortunately is retired now but the punch is still around and the punch actually coordinates with this little daisy here so i know most of you who bought the coffee and card have actually got this punch um so you can do this those of you who haven't have punched the daisies out for you okay so right so we'll get on and we're doing a fun fold today um so uh that's the way the card starts and then we're opening it up. There we go. So how cute is that? So I've used the stylish shapes dies. Um, they're in the new catalogue. Uh, they're a standalone die set. They don't come as part of a bundle, but they're really cute and they work with loads of stamp sets. Um, so let's see. Right, okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six circles five squares and four tags. So, but I mean that square, it's just just over an inch square so it it's you know you can do loads with that going right up to this one um so and i've used two of these circles today now obviously because it's a new stamp set not everybody's got them so any layering circle set will do so i'll just get out the two i have used which are those two and i'll measure them for you okay so so they need to be roughly and i would say particularly looking at that size of the ladybird if you don't have these maybe just going up a little bit in size if you don't have the exact size rather than going down um so because you need plenty of room for the ladybird to get through the gap so let's measure so the largest one here is roughly seven centimeters in diameter and the smaller one is six, just under six centimetres in diameter. So any, as I say, layering circle will do. At a pinch, you could do it with a punch. <laughs> um, so actually, you could do it with a punch because you, you're quite close to the edges here where you're having to punch this hole. So it would work with a couple of punches as well. So use what you've got. Um, and uh, as I say, these are always a lovely set to have in your armory so basically i'm going to make the front first okay so and the first thing we need to do so i'll just go through what you've got in your set now you've got a small piece of basic white and this is thick basic white and i've given you that for the ladybird because just in case it gets caught on the mechanism it's a bit stiffer than the normal um basic white so the the small rectangle is for your ladybird and then we've got some nice uh, some prints paper with a lovely neutral on the back there. It's all the nice off slate, maybe grey granite. Uh, put some lovely blues in here. Got a small piece of red for your circle that the ladybird sits on. This is the inside of your card, which I've already scored for you and killed a fly on mine, sorry. And then a basic card base. And then this piece is for the rest of your cutting out. So your daisy, your sentiment, your white circle, um, all are going to come out of this piece. Right, so we're starting with the card base and the designer series paper. And I'm going to glue that onto the front, um, but I'm going to use quite a lot of glue at the top here because I am going to be cutting out the middle and I don't want it gaping at all. So it's my trusty glue. It's still coming off. <laughs> and I'm just going to... Go all the way around the red unit and then I'm just going to make sure that I've just put a very thin bead of glue all the way at the top there so that when I do cut it out it doesn't gape anywhere it's stuck down all the way around and the the nice stitching around these dies well not really stitching it's more of a dotty shape um actually means that it sort of is stitching it to the other piece of card okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the larger of your two circle dies and i'm just going to cut out a circle of out of the front of the card so you do need to put your card through the die cutter 
but either way, either that way in first. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go away and cut that out. And there we go. So I've cut the centre out and you can use that for something else. I did wonder about using it for this one, but it's the wrong way up. So, you know, it's not as neat on that side as it is on that side. Although I suppose you could maybe have put that as with the ladybird on. Go play. <laughs> now you've got the design and everything. You do what you like with it. Right, okay. So that's that one cut out. And I can pop that to one side now. And now we're just going to do some stamping here. So let's get this one for a start. So this is your thicker piece. And I am going to use my Stamparatus because I want a really, really dark black on my ladybird. And you get that really by stamping twice. So. And so we'll pop that on the paper, on the butterflies with a nice big, the big magnet. And I need to be able to punch that in. I'm actually going to put my magnet over this side so you can see what I will do once this is done is I'll slide my paper in this way to do because you can get both of them on without stamping them at the same time, if you see what I mean. So let's get our ladybird. And the Stamparatus also helps with this lining up the, the dots on the wings as well. So. Okay, so I am just going to pop my ladybird on there like that. I'm just making sure it's clean. With it being a very solid stamp, it really benefits from doing on the stamparatus. So there we go. Just going to pick him up. Doesn't matter if the paper moves a little bit as long as it doesn't move. Excuse me, between stampings. And I'm getting my new stamp, um, memento black. And I'm going to ink that up nicely. As I say, the, the memento black ones aren't quite as juicy as our stamp pads. But you probably what you want really in a in a black. You don't want it oozing out everywhere. So I stamped it once, managed to miss that bit. And then I'm going to stamp it again to get the deeper colour. Lost my little presser. So I've inked it up again, popped it down. Looking for my little presser and I can't find it, I'm going to use my cloth. Okay. So I'm just going to press that down firmly. That looks nice and black looking through. Let's see. Oh, we're still missing that little bit there by the magnet. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this, that you can keep coming back until you've got the image that you want. And now I've moved the paper. See, do as I do, say, not as I do. Right, I'm going to move that magnet a bit further over. Let's just check we're still in. And do it again. So you can even do shadow stamping when you're using your Stamparatus if you're not careful. Right, okay. Super, super stamped up. Pop it down. Use your cloth. Just to get even pressure. go that's quite good actually and then I'm going to stamp it again you can get in ring refills for these as well I think mine's probably looking like due a new ref refilling again there we go have we got it slowly lifting up there we go that's the look I was going for and Fabulous. Just put the ladybird over there. Move my magnet. Uh, and the next one I'm going to do is the outside of the wings. Okay, 
and again looking so we're going to be coming in this way so they need to be that way on this piece of paper here so and I use real red for this again any nice bright red will do real red And I've seen we've had pink ladybirds, blue ladybirds, every colour under the sun ladybirds. So nice juicy red ladybird. And again, just firmly pressing it straight down. There we go. How gorgeous are they? Okay. Then I'll get the these here are the little bow the little dots for the ladybird. Um, I've got a little plastic. I don't know if you've noticed a little plastic bag in here. And when I've punched out any spares, so I've got a spare pa pair of vellum wings there. I just pop them in that uh, bag, so it's with them. So if I uh, need a pair of vellum wings, there they are. I think we used the vellum on last week's card off the top of my head. Right, so I'm just positioning this so that all the white is covered. I hope my head's not getting in the way. Ugh. This makes a great YouTube video, doesn't it? Watching me lining this up. Right, it's there. It's as good as it's going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to gently pick that up. Press it down onto your stamps, onto your plate. Inking it up. Black again. Nice and juicy. I am just going to dab dab it on again just to get it is quite I managed to get quite a lot of ink on this time so it's quite dark I'll just do it a second time there we go so they really pop now and that's your ladybird done so just going to wipe off the black and I'm just popping them on the other side of the stamp case for now so I'm not rattling that acetate every time I go past. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm just having a slurp of the coffee. So I hope you've all got your coffee sorted out while you're watching this. Right, so we need to do some stamping on here. So we need to cut out a circle which is going to be this one. I have given you loads. <laughs> I just didn't want you to be short, so you've got spares that you can use for other things. So I am going to stamp my little daisy. And I think that is, I think it's Daffodil Delight. We'll go with Daffodil Delight. So... But a nice, any nice fresh yellow will do. And the secret with this, the daisy, is that put a petal towards the edge. So let's put one there. And then squeeze one on next to it. Put on the even on my ink in there. There. And one of those needs a centre, so I've gone back to the real red again for the centre.
wouldn't normally use such a big block, but seeing as it's there. <laughs> Oops. And that's why you don't normally use a big block. The other thing is, though, if you do use a slightly bigger block, it's easier to line up. Because you're not getting the distortion of the sides of the block where you're trying to look to line up. But you are getting the red on your flower. See? You win some, you lose some. Right. So let's get some punching done. <laughs> Not near enough the edge. Let's do this. Let's I bet the same's here. Oh no, we're alright with this. Right. So I'm just lining that up, holding it in place until I'm happy. Punch. There we go. And then let's just get some big scissors, which I had a second ago. <sighs> Again, hold and check and punch. Now, those of you who don't have the punch and I've punched them out for you, I've punched them out in Daffodil Delight and just stamped the little centre in, in, the, in a red colour and so you'll still get the same effect. And here's my little punch. And it does literally punch out the whole of the daisy. There's no white edge on this one. So that's one. Or very little white edge. There we go. And that's two. Okay. Cutouts look quite cute as well, don't they? Hmm. Let's put those to one side. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know what I'm going to do with them, but so. Right. I'm putting that to one side. I still need to stamp my sentiment. So, now I use the Elegant Label Punch for this one. Um, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to show you how to do it without that punch because it's no longer available. Okay. You can bug me anytime. So I'm just lining that up on my grid paper and lining it up on my block and getting my black ink again. It's a lovely fine font this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp it right at the edge of my paper just there you can bug me anytime and then i'm just going to get my trimmer in fact no i will do my trimmer um and what i'm going to do is just trim it so There we go. So I've just trimmed it so that the sentiment is roughly in the middle. Okay, and then I'm just going to chop the edge here as well. So there we go. Okay, so we've got a lovely little sentiment there. You could do it by hand as well. If you want to just chop it um, with scissors, you could do and I have left enough. Should we just do a little banner at this end? So I'm just going to cut. There we go. So it's a little bit more finished off. So you see, it's a little bit wider than the one we had there, but it will still fit. Okay. So. And, and I will just get the little...
Oh, just too wide. I'm just going to go and cut out the circle. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so I took out the opportunity to cut out both circles. So I've cut out the red one with the larger um, die and the white one with the smaller one. There we go, so we've got all our bits ready now. So the first thing we're going to do is glue our white circle to our red circle. Okay, so I've just centered that one there. Okay. We're going to glue our ladybug together. We call them ladybugs in the ladybirds, birds, not bugs, ladybirds in the UK. And I, my house backs onto a river, so we have thousands of ladybirds. And they like nesting in the shadow gaps of our windows. Right, there we go. That's our ladybird, and then I've just popped this together. Um, if you want to curl the peppers, pepple, pe 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 petals, you can do. Um, I've just left them flat and dab of glue on the bottom one. And lift that and glue that onto there. Right. Okay, let's tidy up. So let's actually build the card. So I've given you this is, so it's 20 centimetres by 14.4. And I've scored it at 10 and a half, but I've also, at 10 rather. So scored at 10 and then scored at five. And I've scored them the other way. So I've got the, the lump here and then I've got the lump on this side here. And I'm just going to fold that back along there. So that that folds in half. And I think I'm just going to bring my bone folder. And it actually opens the other way if you look at the original. This one opens this way, but that one opens that way. Okay. So we are going to glue this onto the inside of the card. And it's as if you're putting a normal piece just on the back of the card like that. It's just you've got this extra fold here. Okay. So glue again. I think I'm giving up on this. I tried putting it back on last week, but it just doesn't want to stay. So, so you need to concentrate on this bit because it does feel like you're doing it the wrong way because it's opening against the way you would normally open a card. So it's got the mechanism on the right hand side. So I'm just going to take this and we're just lining it up as you would do a normal liner. There you go. Okay. And then the next stage is you're going to close the card and you're just going to put some glue on here. And that's where the ladybird is going to go. So make sure it's properly closed. Everything's lined up. Don't get any glue on your um, front or on this side. And then we're just going to take this circle, which fits perfectly in here. Just glue it down, open it around it, and there you go. So you've positioned your sort of peepo bit. Just going to take some dimensionals, which I saw a second ago. There they are. <laughs> I was thinking, what on earth? That's my first ladybird stamp, isn't it? Wow. Well, stamps so I'm just going to pop that on the front here like that so that it's coming through the little hole and then I'm going to finish it off flat so we're just going to put another dimensional on the back of the flower and then Oh look, it just fits beautifully on the bones. So we'll have, I think four bones will be enough. Yep. 
just going to stick those on. Never waste any part of the dimensionals because they all the bits have their uses. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to add the you can book me anytime first. And then the flower just next to it. And there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Put a thumbs up if you have. If, you ha if you're new to me and haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more lucky people get to see my videos, which is always good for me. And um, I hope you make this card. Uh, do pop along to my Facebook page and share any um pictures that you've made uh, of these cards that'd be really good and take care and i will see you next week bye